Wexler with us this morning. The Hawks shot 62% in the third when they scored those 42 points. What was Atlanta doing that allowed the Hawks to be so effective over that stretch? Well, during that period of time, they played with tremendous pace. They pushed the ball up the floor point shooting, got them going. And Boston's really gotten no relief on the injury front. Celtics guard Isaiah Thomas left with that mild ankle sprain in the fourth and said that he's playing game six no matter what. He's averaging 35 points at home in this series, under 17 on the road in it. What is the big discrepancy we're seeing there? Well, he hasn't been able to play in the open floor on the road uh, and be part of it because they're taking the ball out of the net more. They've done that in Boston, haven't done it so much in Atlanta. They're going to need two more strong games out of Isaiah Thomas to win this series. Yeah, it's, it's really advantage Atlanta right now because the Game 5 winner of a best-of-seven series that's tied to all has gone on to win at 82% of the time, so heavily favoring the Hawks there. Let's go to the other Game 5 in the East last night. Raptors defeated the Pacers 102-99. They outscored Indiana 25-9 in the fourth quarter. What happened, Tim, to the Pacers' offense down the stretch? Well, Frank Vogel made a tough decision. His, his bench let him down in the second quarter, blew a 17-point lead. So now here we go, start of the fourth after the starters build it back up to 15. I'm thinking, you know what, you might want to ride these starters out a little bit more. He went back, makes that adjustment if they're back in the same boat. Somebody off that bench has to step up. I think C.J. Miles, Stucky, those guys have to come in and play better. And you really just nailed it there because it overshadows what was a great night for Paul George. That lost us 39 points for him, and now the Raptors just one win away from their first postseason series victory since 2001. You'd have to go a ways back. Tim Legler with us here this morning on SportsCenter. Thanks, Elliot, with the fourth pick. Who do you think the Cowboys should use that pick well, on her? Well, I think a defensive player, and, and I would go with Bosa. Now, he's probably... Morris, Lance Dunbar are the running backs currently on their roster. And you brought up Tony Romo, who just turned 36. What's the likelihood they draft a quarterback? Yeah, I, I think it's very strong. You yeah. know, I've, I've been saying for a long time, I still felt like they were going to take one in the first round. I think he has some size to him. Remember, the Dallas Cowboys have really, go back historically, haven't really drafted a first-round quarterback. I don't see them going back and trying to get a quarterback. Terrible the last game he played in college. Otherwise, it would be a completely different scenario for him. But hopefully good things are happening for him in the upcoming days. Mark and Herm with us. The draft just a little more than 24 